of the show. If you are a subscriber, obviously, again, you know, welcome back. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe! <laughs> ideas so we'll get all we'll this going that way you've got any ideas please let them in the, in the comments I'd love to read through and love to pick up your ideas obviously do some more videos about that now obviously I do quirky videos everybody does quirky videos so how do you get the old views in but there's some videos which have to be serious and I think it's very important that some videos are serious because obviously you know these this is not a stupid little quirky show that people want to get on and have a little have a little laugh some of them are serious and I think this is a very serious one now, I'm sure there are hundreds, if not thousands of men out there across the world, nationwide, planetary-wise, if not galaxy-wide, lay there at night thinking, why is my cock dripping? Not that cock. It's quite a simple answer, really. Outside stop cock. Also known as a BS-1010 or EU-1234, no, 1, 2, 3, 4, I believe, actually. Inside this little shaft is a rubber seal. Now, after a while, when this keeps turning backwards and forwards, that rubber seal actually fails ever so slightly. It doesn't properly fail. Obviously, properly fails, it just goes and explodes away, but just tiny little drip. So that's why your cock drips, you see? So, what I'm gonna do in this video, I'm gonna educate you, teach you, or just boil in pants at you guys. Uh, I'm gonna completely fully strip this down. Um, I'm going to obviously bring the camera up closer up so you can just basically watch me in, in real time. Obviously there'll be some bits sped up, no doubt. Uh, but you'll be able to watch me fully disassemble it. Obviously strip it right down, clean it right up so it's pretty much brand new. Obviously uh, repel the rubber seals and um, and yeah, and basically that's pretty much it. If you do just want to go down the maintenance route of it, bring the camera up close. This is your outside. Stop cock. The only difference between this and your internal one is, is the body. The actual cartridge itself is exactly the same, and it works the same as, as like your average tap. Not the quarter turns, the full turn ones. And so the only thing different is the body. So usually that goes and goes and then the pipe come at the bottom. Now if you have got just a quick leak and you can't really be bothered, think, you know what, Dean? I'm not going to strip it all down. That that's just crazy. I just want to stop leaking. Undo this back nut here. See? This little back nut. Don't worry, it won't explode. It's not all this water's not gonna come shooting out of it. All that's all that's doing, that's just retaining the rubber seal. Now that rubber seal again is not gonna shoot out. But you see me undo that back in that, put two turns of PTFE tape. Now PTFE tape is this stuff. Bang stuff, serious. Um literally two loose turns. Tighten it back and that job done. You don't want to tighten it too much because obviously the more you tighten it, the more you compress that rubber seal, which makes it makes it harder for you to turn that. And if it's harder for you to turn this, then therefore technically the more wear that's going to be on the actual tap. So obviously you just want to just pinch it, make sure it turns freely but not too freely, and that should do it. Obviously, if it doesn't stop dripping, just, just keep cranking up. You think you know what's on it? It's stopped really leaking, and that's the main thing. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to bring the cap close, basically do the job, and. Um, Right, <clears throat> these are the basic tools you need to do this job. Now just remember, before you actually start this job, don't forget to turn the water off if you are actually fully taking it apart. Because if you don't turn it off, well, you'll find out. <clears throat> so, to do this job, to simply strip this down, you need a pair of pliers, adjustables, well, no, adjustables are better because obviously it's preferable. You need a container to put all your bits once they're fully broken down into. Some large scale cleaner, you know, I don't really think I need to do the actions. But some basic tools, a small Phillips or a medium sized Phillips. Just so, well, it, it's a small flathead, but it's really just a poke. This is a tiny rubber seat. Now, this tiny little rubber seat actually sits inside there and actually stops it all from leaking. I'm not leaking, but flowing. A little bit of PTFE tape. Most importantly, with when you use lime scale cleaner, it's got to be a lime scale cleaner. It can't be like bleach or any crap like that. It's got to be lime scale cleaner. That's lime scale cleaner, basically toilet stuff, you know. Cloth, gloves, because if you've got any cuts, trust me, you'll know about that. You'll know about it with the lime scale cleaner. It burns like. Sh and then some water. Obviously, to rinse it all off. And well, you're not idiots. If you're an idiot, you wouldn't be doing this. Or well, maybe. 
Anyway, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to basically get on with it. I'm going to bring the camera just like a little bit closer, just so you can actually see what I'm actually doing with my hands, rather than like trying to squint and see what I'm doing. Jazz hands! Okay. Container. I think you know where that's going. Trudeau. See, that's what it should look like. That's what this one is. That one goes in the bin. You don't have to pull that out, but I did. Shaft. Everyone likes the shaft. This is the rubber seal, which I'm on about. Which does take a bit of working to get out. It's not easy. But if you sort of pinch it in... I don't know if I can see it, show you this. Pinch it in and sort of just twist it. It will thread out, as it were. Oop, easy. <clears throat> so this is the rubber seal. See? There we are. That is the thing that slides over the shaft. Giggity. And then that bit over there which compresses... I can press it all together which basically stops it leaking and that is the thing that causes causes the issue so by putting two turns of PTFE tape on that stops it leaking not always but most of the time so here we are talk a lot to myself. A bit like now. Well not really because you're here. You can't actually be bothered to do this. Lime scan is the biggest killer for these things. That's what seeds them up. So, spray some WD-40, three-in-one oil, you know, some stuff like that. Just every six months, just give it a bit of turn. Even if you just fully shut it off or fully open it up, um, you know, just a couple of times, it just breaks up the lime scan. And again, that can help you, well, help the plumber, but help you save some money by helping out the plumber, which probably doesn't help the plumber out because he loses out of money, but hey, you guys win. Here's my cleaner. Right. We got a lime scout cleaner. And we just flood it. Now, I'm going to show you. Uh, I'll get, have I got the angle on it? Hang on. Sorry, apologies. That's what you're after. Look at that bubbling away. You see that? Beautiful. Like a witch's cauldron, isn't it? So basically, you're going to watch that until it stops bubbling away. And then once it has stopped bubbling away, you know all the lime scales and has been cleaned off it. You know, at that point, you take it off, give it a rinse, put it back together again. So until then, hold tight. Right, so, as you can see, it stopped bubbling. So what we're going to do, now I noticed I did make a bit of a boo-boo, I mentioned the rubber gloves. But I'm a professional. My hands are sort of, you know, they're adapted to it, so I don't need them. I do need them sometimes, because it does half hurt. So, but we're going to get our, kind of get our water. I also use it to catch my oil in when I do my oil changes. I'm not sure you remember what it used to look like, but look at that. A lot cleaner.
da 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 rinse. The only reason why I rinse it out, obviously the rinse with the lime scale off it, so it stops burning the hands. Uh, look at look, look at that. Brand new. Does go a little bit red or pink. It's only this way it's burnt it ever so slightly, but that that will sort of buffer straight off. And as the uh, the brass actually age itself, um, as a uh, yeah, as the brass actually age itself, it's, again it will just disappear. So to be fair, this thing doesn't have to be bone dry because after all, it is just up cock. It itself, in nature, is designed to get wet. So everything's all nice and squeaky clean. So this is where you need. You should use silicon grease, but I know not everybody has silicon grease. The average grease, we don't really have to put together with grease. It just it just helps things. It just helps things move along better. So I'm gonna put a bit of grease on the shaft. Off your rubber seal. Rubber seal. Oh, an idiot! Done it wrong. Bell end. Bell end. That goes on first. See, sometimes we get it wrong. We're not robots. We make mistakes. Only thing is that you recognise that you made a mistake. You rectify it. You may have to pinch it with a cloth. Because obviously everything's all greased up, so you might start slipping. Just to literally thread that rubber seal back in again. But it doesn't matter. A bit of grease. You don't really want to grease this up too much. It just helps with... Just helps with it all sliding on. Okay, you might have to get the other one. Use the lid. That's your handle. New rubber seat that pops on again. Use your pointer because right here you really want to make sure that that lip is down. Because if that lip's not down, what can actually happen? It pops off, and nobody wants it accidentally popping off. Now, do they? What's my screw? That's in there as well. I didn't fish that out. Oh no, it's in there. Hold tight, don't panic. <laughs> You can't do without your screw, because everyone wants a screw. <laughs> right, so that's that main top bit assembled. Oh, I feel like an Avenger then. Is that advertising? Nah. I could have been talking about the 1970s version or 60s, whenever it came out. So yeah, a bit of grease inside there. Slab a lot of grease on top of there, lovely gubbly. Sure, that's advertising. Never mind. Let's tighten it back up. Let's give it a tweak. It doesn't have to be seriously tight. Just make sure, as I'm saying, you tighten these things up. If you can't, well, now that it's grease, obviously it turns beautifully. Because that's how it should turn, nice freely. If you do it so tight, you can't turn that. Unless you, it's pointless. But as I say, it, as long as it, you stop it leaking, if your attitude is, well, I just want to stop it leaking until the plumber gets around and actually fix it, then that's your prerogative. But nonetheless, in this situation, I didn't need to use my PTFE tape, which is looks like that, by the way. But some situations you do. So now that, what the stopcock looks like, Turns nice and easily. It's got a new rubber seat. So when I put it on outside, it's not going to leak. So I'll see you out there.